Hi everyone, this is Andy from Muscle Soleil. Today I'm showing you how to make this. Jump landing animations. I have a few running. We're going to go and jump through a couple. So this is running and moving and you roll. And then you have a soft landing that you can sort of see by just falling from here. Oops, that one was moving. There you go. And then you have a very soft landing. There you go. Okay, so the first thing that we need to check is the character blueprint. So we created a jumping uh, Boolean and we're setting it when the character jumps. This is important. Then we have the animation blueprint. Let's start at the beginning. So from the animation blueprint, you cast to the third person character or to whatever your hero is called, your character blueprint. Uh, you don't need to set a character variable. You can just drag and get the uh, jumping, which is the variable that I set. And then I created a variable in here called jumping and I set it. Um, this one stays the same. This one is the node velocity. You just literally recombine and then you just literally uh, disconnect it and then split it and then split the vector length and isolate the Z with its own variable. You create a variable from it and from here you do this math. All right, so anytime that the Z velocity is less than zero, you're falling, you will set the last Z velocity, which is a new variable you will set that to the previous value of the z velocity. If the condition at any time is false, so you're not falling, you're going to be are you you're going to check whether you're in air in the air or not. And if you are in the air, that means that you just jumped. This is an, a new jump. And therefore we start we reset the uh, the last z velocity so that it can't be used for landing again. And then if it's false, you just set the velocity. Well, if this is important, keep it the same. Um, then we have the animation state machines. All right, so let's have a look at the anim graph. So this is your regular anim graph. In here you have is in air that got moved directly here so that we don't have the jump start playing every time we start falling. Then we have the jumping variable that determines whether I get into the jumping state or not. Then from here, are we not in the air? And then we go into the jump end, which we'll see in a second. And then from here, is my velocity zero? Yes. And is the relevant time of the last animation, whatever, you just get that by doing uh, get relevant. And then you pick the appropriate one from the list that pops up. You can do remaining fraction. You can do time remaining. It doesn't matter. As long as it's next to zero, close to zero, you can do 0 0.01 if you want to sh cut it short. Um, the jump end has a state machine within a state machine. So this is from, from the top, this is a state machine. I have a state and then within the state I have a state machine. The state machine has a special state at the start. This special state is special because it has a, an animation that's been nulled out. I just set the rate to zero so that it always triggers. And then you have the different states. So this is the soft landing. Uh, it's just literally the one and then I'm going to show you the rolling one so this is 23 keyframes of you actually rolling out makes sense all right and then going back to here we need to look at the intro uh, how we get in and out of those states so to get out of the states I always do the time remaining ratio um, being close to or equal to zero um, that's always a good way to get out. And then you make sure to connect this one there. I think that uh, is important. Um, it might not be, but just for completeness sake. Each and every one of those to be able to find that loop uh, needs to not loop to be able to find the time remaining ratio. To get into it, we're just using the Z velocity last. So if the Z velocity last is greater than or equal to negative 500, we are going to be able to go into the easy state. For the middle states, we have a range. So between negative 500 and negative 1000, and we can enter into the second state. For the third state, this is the punch, punch in the floor. 
Uh, we have the velocity last. Uh, it's now less than a thousand and the speed of move. So this is my movement speed is less than 500 and we punch the floor. If instead my uh, velocity is greater and, and my velocity is the same and my speed is greater, then I'll enable the roll. And the state machine just puts you out again with this one, which is checking the current Z velocity and the fact that the animation has stopped playing. Um, which would probably mean that this needs to not loop. If you have this looping, it would probably not work as well. Okay. Um, so that's 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 the gist of it. Um, compile save. I don't think I don't think there's any other neat uh, uh, complicated things to it. It's just fall and punch the floor. Fall and roll. And it's fairly responsive uh, with 500 as a value. Um, as you can see, if you're if you're not high enough, you're not going to trigger that roll. And if you get just a tad bit higher, you might trigger that roll. It just depends on how much speed you gather. So if you change the character's mass, that would probably also affect it. Um, well actually, it wouldn't affect the falling speed uh, physics-wise. So it should not affect the spot. But if you change the gravity scale, it might. Um, another thing worth mentioning real quick is the project settings. The top speed caps out you have a max uh, max velocity is it under uh, right there terminal velocity you have this maxed out at uh, 4000 uh, if you want to be accurate it should be around 5300 uh, though 4000 is probably more accurate if you consider wind resistance um, I'm not sure you would need to go and google that answer to that in terms of what or decided in terms of what suit you, suits your uh, project. Uh, either way, before you get to that value, you're going to be very, very much up in the air. I think uh, somewhere in the proximity of right here is where that would ha uh, end up happening. So you can see that's you know a deadly fall. All right. Thank you for watching, and uh, I hope this helps you.